Welcome back everyone. Time to do the unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Now I'm actually filming this in my bathroom because there's literally this box is so big I can't put it on a table and this was the best background that I could find. <laughs> So let's go and start unboxing this. I did pay over $1,000 for this, which was so stupid, but I tried so hard to get it, I couldn't. So then I had to buy this one. And what's crazy is, is that this is the digital one. This is the least expensive model. Now looking on the top, obviously we have a little slit right there. And I realized with these unboxings, there's so much like awkward pauses and stuff that you guys don't even get to see. And it's so funny because these videos are already super awkward. And then taking this bad boy out. And then so then we have the box right here, which is empty. Pushing that to the side, we have this box. Then we can go ahead and top this up. And as you can see, we did open it up correctly so far. We have the PlayStation 5 controller, which is right here. Let's take a look at it. And a lot of people have said this thing is like the best groundbreaking controller ever. And so far, it actually does feel pretty premium. You know what? I, I don't know if it feels necessarily better than the Xbox Series X controller. It doesn't, maybe, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out in a second. And then nothing else here. AC adapter. Humongous booklet. It's like a crazy amount of paper. I don't know what... It, oh, it's actually not that bad. I thought it was that whole little slit, but... I think we can go ahead and take this portion out. And then underneath all that, we have the whole entire PlayStation 5. Amazing. And now they did put these egg cartons on top. I don't know why they chose to go with that, but it's totally okay. And then unwrapping all the plastic. And then we have the PlayStation 5 itself. <laughs> Now, from first glance, this console is crazy massive. This thing is like the biggest console I think they've ever produced. And as you can see, this is the back of the console. No, this is the front. We have the power button right here. This is the digital version, like I stated. USB Type-C port and USB-A port, which I actually do like how they put the USB Type-C port on the front. The Xbox Series X and S do not have that. However, they do have the USB-A port, whatever that one is. Nothing up top and on the back. You can see we have the Ethernet port, two USB-A ports, HDMI port, and then the AC adapter. And what I can tell you is, is that this console looks far better than the Xbox Series S and X. At least it looks better than the Series X. I don't think the Series X looks that good, but the Series S looks actually pretty decent. This one, I think, looks better. I mean, it just looks like a far better console. I don't know how well it's going to perform against it. I'm sure it's going to be maybe faster than the Series S, maybe not to the Series X. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. But I'm super excited to look at it. I mean, this is going to be a killer console and I can't wait to make a bunch of comparisons and videos on it. So if you guys enjoyed it, I spent a lot of money on it. And I guess we'll see how those comparisons and videos go, but that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.